what's up guys welcome back to my channel today I have the day off work so I'm thinking I want to do probably just another day in the life or what I eat in a day I was literally just thinking in bed before I was like I don't know if I want to do just like literally just film what I eat and sort of show you what times I'm eating and how spread apart my meals are and everything like that or if I want to like take you along and like do other stuff because you know I like watching both types but it's it's hard and I also just had the idea I really need to clean out my pantry and I was like I was like maybe I should do like a pantry keto essentials video as well and then show you guys what I have like I always have on hand for keto for like baking um, and just like other recipes and stuff that I always do. So yeah, I might do that later on. Um, I think that'd be a good video. I think if I was starting out keto, I'd want to see like what people have in their fridge all the time and what people keep in their pantry and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Hopefully I get around to doing it today. But yeah, I'm now, it is almost 10 o'clock and I've just I've had a sleep here and I've just had a, like a slow morning because I'm working for the rest of the week so I just wanted to like take today to chill and yeah I'm gonna go get a coffee and I'm actually gonna go to office works I'm still trying to figure out my spare room which if you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories you would have seen like months ago my housemates moved in together into um, the one room so now we we have two spare rooms pretty much so each couple has a spare room each so our spare room is basically just going to be like my office and my working area for when I'm at uni I can have like a designated segregated space to study and yeah and I'm setting up like I just want a nice desk like I just want so then I can actually film like sit down videos as well because I want to do like I just have so many Okay, I just have so many video ideas that I want to film that are like more sit down, like, you know, tips for starting keto and, you know, I don't know, essential products, just stuff like that that I don't think, I don't know, I just think it'll be better with a sit down and it'll be more to the point because um, I'm trying to make my videos a lot shorter because I know my vlogs have been like 20 minutes recently and although like I feel like that's the craze at the moment, like people love watching long vlogs. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to put out some short and quick videos that'll give people information really quickly without watching like a whole 20 minutes. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to Officeworks and then I'll probably stop in at Aldi because I've got to like replenish my fridge and like get stuff for my work meals and stuff like that. So I'll probably do some meal prep later on as well. And yeah, that's my day today. Nothing to you know, exciting, just, yeah, getting ready for the next couple of days of work, and yeah, I will speak to you guys when I see you next. So, I just got a large almond milk latte. The milk that they use is unsweetened, so it literally has, like, probably for a large glass, honestly, like, one or two grams of carbs in it, which is amazing, and it has, like, no sugar, so, yeah, I highly recommend... I never used to like almond milk as well until keto. It really has changed my taste buds. So yeah, give it a shot. So I've just gotten home from office works and I've made myself some breakfast. It's just after 12, so I normally eat like, I don't intentionally fast, but I normally generally just eat my first meal around 11.30, 12 o'clock. So as I've shown you, I've just got a low carb wrap with two eggs, cheese, a bit of bacon, and some reduced sugar and salt tomato sauce. So yeah, that will be my first meal. I'm gonna eat that now and I'll show you guys when I eat my second meal. Hey guys, I'm back. I've just been grocery shopping. I went to Aldi and I also went to Woolies because mum and my brother are coming over for dinner tonight. So I need to get some stuff and prepare. I got a bunch of other stuff as well. So what's the time now? It's nearly 
two o'clock. I had my first meal two hours ago. So I'm just gonna have some blueberry, uh, some raspberries now um, while I put everything away. And yeah, I also got a message that my phone, I currently have the iPhone 8 Plus, um, which is fine. Like there's literally nothing wrong with it. But I'm only getting, I only get 12 gig a month, which is in this day and age, <laughs> you're on your phone a lot you know that 12 gigs is nothing like so I always go over and every time I go over it adds an extra gig and it costs me like ten dollars for one gig so and I already pay like over ninety dollars a month and I'm like that's ridiculous so I went to Optus and I'm currently with Virgin Virgin are getting phased out at the moment I fucking don't know why I was with Virgin in the first place but you know I am so I have to wait. Well, I was thinking I had to wait till my plan's over, but I looked up and I have to pay a couple of hundred dollars and I can pay my plan out and get a new plan. And at first I was like, that's stupid. Like my phone's fine. I don't need to pay it out. Like why spend the money? But then in my head, I was like, actually, if I just spend a hundred dollars, a couple of hundred dollars, pay out my plan and then get the new phone, which the new plan, so I'm getting the iPhone XR and the plan they had on at that time that I got the phone was it was like $84 a month which is $10 less than what I'm paying now and you get 100 gigs of data on the new iPhone so I was like why wouldn't I like that's just 100 gig like I will never go over anyway oh my god there's a raspberry stuck in my throat <coughs> also the guy next door is mowing his lawns and he fucking mows them like he literally mows them every three days anyway excuse him so yeah the phone's coming today anyway so i'm like i'll sell this i was looking on marketplace and gumtree people are selling their iphones for literally like 700 dollars and like with cracked screens and cracked backs so the only thing wrong with my phone is i don't know if you can see that just in the corner there it's cracked like a little crack there the back's fine, everything's fine with it, it works fine. I got it checked out because I got it cleaned from Apple a few days ago and they're like, it's fine, the battery's fine, all the hardware's fine. So I'm like, if I can get $600 for it, then I'm literally making money by upgrading my phone and getting the newest phone and getting a better plan with better internet. And I'm making money. So I was like, why not do it? Anyway. Especially now that I'm like, I want to be like on Instagram and like, I want to be posting regularly. Like I need a good phone plan. And also like with uni, because, um, I spend a lot of my time like doing my uni work at cafes and some of them don't have Wi-Fi, So I end up using my hotspot for my laptop. And then that also makes me go over my plan. So at least now I can literally use my hotspot, like on the train to uni or like at a cafe or whatever. So yeah, that's what's happening. They messaged me while I was at the shop. So that's coming today. Hopefully I need to also order a case for it. Like I'm going to get one of the life proof cases because I don't want to break it. And yeah, and then I need to prep dinner. I'm going to clean out my spare room. I'm making another video as we speak for that. Like just literally of me organizing the spare room, and my desk and my office area. So yeah, I've got to do that. And yeah, my parent, my parents, my mum and my brother are coming at 6.30. So I've still got like four and a half, four and a half hours. Three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Four and a half hours. Excuse my mess. I look like an absolute freak. Like I literally haven't showered today. I haven't brushed my hair. I have nothing on my face. My skin is disgusting. But it's just one of those days, like the jizz days where you're just getting stuff done and you don't care what you look like. And that's me generally like I generally don't care um, I hate putting on makeup at the moment like I just rather go the way I am so yeah I'll stop rambling I'm gonna have this also for those of you who want to comment I I personally eat a whole punnet of berries probably per day honestly like I know everyone says you know there's too much carbs there's probably about not gonna lie 15 grams of carbs in this whole punnet which for most people that do strict keto is a lot of carbs like if you're sticking to if you're trying to stick to under 20 grams per day 
then I would probably say don't have the whole punnet. But I don't really do strict keto. I don't know. Like, maybe I should just call myself low carb because honestly, like, I never stick to under 20 grams. I'm probably closer to 50 grams than I am 20 grams. So, yeah. And I've had the low carb wrap this morning as well. So that was about 12 grams of carbs as well. So, yeah, you get the gist. Like, I generally have about 50 grams of carbs per day. And that seriously works for me. I'm still in ketosis. So I guess you do call it, I can call it keto, but... I know whatever keto police are going to come out and say that's not keto it is for me okay you've got to literally that's one of my best tips if you're trying to do keto you've got to find what works for you find your keto literally no foods foods should not be labeled as keto or non-keto because keto is a metabolic state keto is not it's not classified through foods it's literally like yeah, everyone responds differently. I've seen a lot of people that respond to higher carb on Instagram, like people that even go over the 50 grams and they're still in ketosis. So, and like, I think I'm gen like, I'm definitely one of those people because yeah, I do go over, I, yeah, I do go, like I said, I do go over the 20 grams of carbs per day and I'm still losing weight. Like I've lost 25 kilos doing it that way and I've always done it that way. So for me, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I know it works for me. But for you, it might be different. You literally just got to find what works. And yeah, if if it works, I'm not going to stop doing it. I love my berries and it's the only fruit I have because it is low carb, low sugar and low GI. So yeah, I will keep doing that. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to go. I've literally rambled for like seven minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, me. I want a quick video. I'm just going to do a quick video today. No, not happening, sis. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go do my stuff and then I'll probably just vlog a little bit when we have dinner. My family's going to be here, so I'm probably not going to vlog a lot, but I'll probably just show you what we have, like the spread. And yeah, I will speak to you later. See, I knew we were back off eventually. Can I? Um, <laughs> can you do it? Mm, okay. What happened?